Hey everybody, Vincent here for Open Source Tonight. Today I wanted to talk about this new Linux distro that's not even really that new, it's actually quite old, called CDE Debian. And if you haven't guessed, it's based on Debian, an old version of Debian. It's no longer supported and it's pretty out of date. And it's using a desktop environment called the Common Desktop Environment or CDE. Now, for several years, I've been interested in CDE and I found this Linux distro a while back that had it pre-installed. So I thought, well, why don't I just set that up in a virtual machine and take a look at it? And so I've decided to do that. And so if we come over to the screen here, you can see it is waiting for me to log in. This is just the live CD, but that's okay. So the username is CDE user and the password is CDE. And here we are. And because it's a live CD, you can see the install thing there too. But that's normal and expected behavior here. Let's just get that out of the way. I've already recorded this video once, so I apologize in advance if I sound a little burnt out on this. Though I think this takes gonna be better. Um, so it's got a bunch of different things. It's got Tor, it's got Chrome, uh, this Litecoin thing, which you can do, uh, I guess this is like a Bitcoin thing. They got one called Bitcoin or Bitminer and Bitcoin here. And if you look at them, well, huh, weird. Uh, before it opened up, it's, it's kind of flaky for me. Anyway, um, I definitely wouldn't advise running this in production. Uh, as you can see, CDE, which uses the Motif GUI toolkit, is very old looking. Um, and then GTK apps and stuff like this, they look a little different uh, in it as well because they're not being themed properly. Uh, here's a text editor that is using Motif, and so you can take a look. And from what I can tell, they are customizing Motif a little bit uh, in this. And so you can see this is part of the common desktop environment. And, uh, but again, from what I can tell, the CD folks did customize, well, I want that close, did customize Motif a little bit, okay? The CD people, I think they did. Because uh, if memory serves, this isn't exactly what it looks like out of the box, but nevertheless, it exists. They've got an uh, application builder here that I played with before, and you can just drag this out here and make a little window. And I'm kind of actually, now that I've done this a couple times, I've kind of, gotten not I don't know if I'd say good at it but like you know not that bad at it. let's bring that over here and well now the last time it let me drag this this time it doesn't want me to again um so uh maybe I spoke too soon about, <laughs> I spoke too soon folks about being able to get this figured out um uh, but anyway you can you can drag different things in there let me see if I can get a button in there well, maybe not. Anyway, yeah, um, now I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it to work, I don't think. Anyway, uh, this would allow you to design everything and you know move things around and, and things like that. It's a screen I hadn't seen in there before. So uh, yeah, there's that. I don't wanna keep on any one application too long because it, it's probably pretty boring and I, I don't see a real world application of most of the stuff these days, honestly. it's. Uh, a lot of this stuff is pretty out of date and the stuff that isn't you probably already have seen in a hundred other places Looked at the print manager thing over here. I thought this was to manage printers, but I don't see how you can really add printers This seems to be like to find print jobs here in the computer. So I'm not really sure I guess it would just use cups and open up a terminal That's just a standard terminal. You can do Whatever you'd expect in there. They've got some style stuff so you can control the the styling and um, let's see here if we do okay that changed the look a little bit let's just change it back and okay actually maybe it didn't change the look i'm not really sure honestly i'm, I'm not really versed heavily in this desktop but i'm interested i think it's interesting um we can look at the colors. You can see there's different colors we can go through here and or palettes and things like that. So uh, interesting stuff. There's a dock on the bottom here, as you probably have gathered. We can look at the, uh, the manual files here. And let's take a look. Uh, see, there's all kinds of stuff. Here's a calculator. We could 
Do some math. And there, the number six. Let's take a look here. So anyway, we can take a look at this. What if I... Huh. Okay, I'm going to exit out of that. I apologize for the dogs in the background barking outside my office here. Uh, it's the middle of the night and the dogs have decided to bark at something, I suppose. But anyhow, uh, so there's a bunch of different things in here. Like I said, this is the file browser. Again, it looks really ancient, I would argue. But um, it does exist. We can look at a calendar here. And here's our calendar and we can move around and everything. I mean, you know, this is pretty functional. I could see myself getting work done in something that looks like this back in the day. Got Wireshark on here. Uh, they're not using the QT one. And uh, I noticed that QT apps are theming to look similar to, um, to actual motif in this. I've memory served, I think, was it the, I think it was this one. Yeah, see this one's QT if you look under here, see? And um, QT has a, a, a theme built into it that can look like motif. And apparently they've decided to use that here um, to kind of fit in a little more. So there's a bunch of different things in here, but realistically, none of this stuff really is that interesting, I would argue, you know, it's interesting, you know, just to see, you know, this is what a lot of people, back in the day was using on something like HP Unix and things like that. And so it's interesting to me, a lot of these applications I've noticed also just open up a terminal, see? So a lot of them just open up a terminal. Why was that not closing? Okay, there. Uh, so it's interesting to me, but I don't necessarily think that this is something I would advise anybody use because think about this. It literally, I am not kidding here, folks, is not supported. So there's no security updates or anything coming out for this. And honestly, I don't really like this GTK and QT apps and stuff not meshing with it. Like back in the 90s when a lot of stuff was motif in the Unix and Linux world, from what I gathered, it would have made more sense to be using a desktop like this because everything would kind of match more. Um, but this day and age, probably not. I mean, if we open like transmission here again, GTK, look at this. There you go. Again, it's uh, it doesn't really strike me as something. Here's a readme file. It doesn't really strike me as something I would want to use in this day and age. But it's an interesting thing uh, to see and kind of be able to look at the past. I'm just going to close out of this and I can go right click on the desktop and log out. And that's how you do a log out. And there you go. And so that's the log out process and everything. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, I wouldn't really recommend you use this OS in the current day and age because again, uh, like realistically, it's just not designed to be used, you know, it's not supported anymore. And realistically, why would you want to have all these applications that are not theming together and everything? It, probably you don't. So, uh, you know, I think it's an interesting thing of history. You can check it out. I'll put a link in the description. It's CDE Debian. I want to say Debian, but they, they don't have the D. So it's like, you know, for the first letter. So I guess, you know, it's not really pronounced that way. I'm not really sure how it's pronounced because I've seen no one else do so. But anyway, I'm going to put a link, of, a link to it in the description so you can check it out. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Talk to you next time, everybody. Thanks for watching Open Source Tonight. This is Vincent, signing off.